Hey guys, how's it going? Kupain here. Today I want to give you guys the shame concede experience. Now, it's not an experience that I like to uh, preach because, in my opinion, winning in Hearthstone, spe specifically in Arena, is uh, pretty important. It's really important to do your best, never retire decks. Even if it looks hopeless, sometimes there's a way out that you can't actually see. Sometimes you might get a really unfair win from your opponent even disconnecting or just doing some extremely stupid crap. I've seen it time and time again. Your chance to lose is almost never really zero. But in any cases, some people are a bit more honorable than I am, and when they have royal fuck-ups, they just pull the kill switch they just you know it's like yeah game over i'm out of here the shame concede it's so rare that i see this i think it's probably something that people see again a little bit more frequently in rank mode because the games are a bit more meaningless there but in terms of arena it is truly a rare sight and the fact that i managed to witness one in the dual class arena where people were really trying to push the limits was pretty interesting experience that i had to share with you guys so i hope you guys do enjoy the shame concede experience of the dual class arena system in Hearthstone right now, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. You pick Frostless Jaina. That's the one that you pick. Unless you have like Raza or a shitload of crazy early game cards, which you probably don't. You pick Frostless Jaina. The reason you do that is because that card is fucking broken beyond anything. That's why you pick that card. I don't know what is um what is Frostless Jaina on her Arena right now? I don't know what it is. It has to be a lot. An autograph, huh? Hmm, I suppose. All right, Shadow Reaper is 128. That's really high. Wow, Frost's Jaina is 124. Really? I'd take Frost's Jaina, but my partner in Arena Crime tells you to pick Shadow Reaper, I guess. Whatever. Hearth Arena numbers are uh, largely weighted by statistics. They're more valuable than their I think this card is good. Let me just give it a bunch of numbers and shit. It's not that. So don't pretend like it is that because it's not that. But because it is numbers, mostly numbers, you have to understand where those numbers are coming from. They're coming from average Hearthstone players. Are, a are average Hearthstone players good? Not particularly, is the answer to that. Not particularly. So... Um, some cards that require proper setup and designing a deck around, like Frostless Jaina, are going to underperform on average for most people. You say Anduin took more setup? No, Anduin requires you to have other very specific cards to be good. Mm. Really, dude? Can I get a buff at least? That'd be really nice. Thank you.
I'm not sure I understand. Okay, I'll take it. Shame concede.